guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a bit of a different one today. I am actually in St. Petersburg. Uh, I am here today speaking at the uh, SPIR, the St. Petersburg International Conference Economic Forum. Uh, I'll be speaking on a, uh, a program developed specifically to encourage uh, other foreign farming families to come to Russia to help develop uh, not only the agriculture industry but also their, uh, their country as a whole. Uh, so I think on the, you will have by now seen a link uh, to the talk because this will be this will be shown a few days later. Uh, but so I'm just going to invite you to come along with me. Uh, we'll explore the forum together. You can see what it's like. Obviously, a lot of uh, high-profile people come to this event and then discuss a huge range of not only economical but but social and uh, all sorts of issues that Russia is looking to proactively get ahead of uh, and continue to build uh, Russia's economy and, and the country as a whole. All right guys, I've made it through security. Obviously in an event like this where you got a lot of high profile people coming, a lot of leaders coming, they, they keep the uh, security tight, everything's checked, a bit like going through airport security. Uh, you've got to go through a whole lot of tests to actually be able to get to invited, to be invited, not many, not just anybody can come. Uh, but this is the venue, this is the forum that's specifically for the uh, the actual uh, economic forum here and uh, we'll be looking around together and seeing what we can find uh, hopefully I'll be able to record quite a bit for you and you can see for yourself I don't know if you can see in the flags obviously it's a highly international event people from all around the world come I'm inside the forum, uh, walking around all the different displays they have here. Uh, lots of different international companies who are here uh, demonstrating to Russia, showing uh, what they have an offer, coming up with different uh, deals. Uh, you can see there's, there's everything from car companies to drone companies to uh, countries themselves who come uh, here to present uh, for business relationships with Russia and obviously Russian corporations. Uh, it's a really interesting uh, event so many people here uh, with so many different uh, objectives and so many different uh, business opportunities that are available to do here. So it's a very interesting uh, scenario. You can see they have on display all different technologies that are emanating out of Russia and obviously encouraging a lot of international cooperation with other businesses. But most of Russia's big Hopra, Hopra high, excuse me, high profile video, most of Russia's high profile companies are here, uh, not only to uh, foster business deals uh, locally or nationally, but also internationally. Uh, many, many different displays, different, co different uh, companies from all different aspects. This is a uh, more of an agricultural based, but we have electronic, we have computers, we have lots of different displays uh, showcasing Russia's, Russia's many different business developments.
So at this event, all the different regions are here uh, showing their uh, and trying to attract uh, different businesses to come and invest in the area. Obviously, this is this is the landing ground region. You can see here behind And they've all got different displays, different expos on. Uh, and they have different talks where they, they discuss how they want to attract different types of businesses to their region. Krasnoyarsky region, which is just north of where we are right now. These two guys here we just have a photo with, these are the two famous Russian pranksters that, uh, that have called up world leaders all over the place and had phone calls that they sh technically shouldn't have had. Very interesting guys. Hold on, the name's gone away. You want me to wait for it to see what's going to start? Right now it's just a symbol. It's just a symbol? Yeah, hold on. It's changing. Changing. It's still a symbol. Right. We'll take a photo. One button. He'll be out prepping for our, our uh, talking event. Uh, some of the other guests present. The lady in the white jacket is the uh, is the moderator. And the other guys who are talking here, we're just discussing what we're going to be, uh, how, what topic each one of us will cover. All right, guys, we're here. Just getting ready to just for our interview time. You can see we've got quite a good crowd here. Uh, it's been well attended, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be a successful meeting, and it'll have some good results as far as you know, working towards a successful, uh, creating a successful immigration policy for Russia. That's what we're here to talk about. Russian's foreign press secretary. <laughs> but I'd like to recognize the next panelist, John. Uh, for the first time, uh, hi, John. Uh, for the first time, he came in Russia in 2011 in the city of Novosibirsk. Can you imagine that? Not Moscow, not St. Pete as majority of foreigners would do, but in Novosibirsk. And in 2019, he moved there to live. And the first question is, why? Why did you uh, decide to move? How come you uh, ventured to move from uh, nice and hot Australia to Altai? Because now you live in Altai, right? Why? Uh, I first came in 2011. I was invited by a friend to come to Novosibirsk and <clears throat> that was my first journey and then I ended up through my building experience uh, coming back to Russia to help doing some construction and it was through the process of um, that and getting to know more about Russia that I really began to get a clear understanding of what Russia was really like uh, more so than just what's being portrayed in the foreign media uh, the more I met just the everyday Russian person, I realized that, that we're the same people, we just speak a slightly different language. Uh, and that was really what that, with many of the things that were happening in Australia, that which, which I didn't personally agree with, uh, got me thinking about moving to Russia on a permanent basis. And uh, that's where my journey began, moving to Russia in Novosibirsk. And then uh, during one of my trips, I visited Altai and obviously fell in love with the region. It's an extremely beautiful area. Uh, I don't know why more Russians don't go there. It's just amazing. But uh, yeah, that's that's what brought me to Altai. Yeah, but I do uh, confirm. I've been to Altai. It's an amazing, amazing region indeed. But you know, in order to move, uh, you have to ha have some courage. And as far as I know. Uh, uh, you support a YouTube channel. I mean, your entire family runs a channel, and you have a fairly big audience. Uh, my understanding is that many uh, Australians would like to move to Russia thanks to your blog. Is that right? Uh, yeah, we do. We run, I think, three channels within our family, and uh, basically for the process is to show other people from Australia, obviously family and friends and others, uh, what life can be like in Russia, uh, the fact that you actually can build a good life here. Many of many of our 
uh, friends and family from back uh, back at home in Australia go, mm, you know, can you really live a good life in Russia? And you really can. Uh, so they're the reasons why we we run our channels. Uh, and um, what was your second part of your question? Uh, okay. Oh, by the way, uh, how many people uh, watch your uh, channel and how many subscribers do you have? Uh, uh, did you run some kind of survey or something? Uh, could you remind us about the survey of your subscribers? Uh, between our three channels, we have 150,000 subscribers. Uh, and we get, we don't run surveys, but what we do is we monitor the feedback that we get through obviously our comments and then through the uh, emails that we get sent through our channels. And we get a constant stream of people asking us for information, for advice about what's it like to live in Russia, how can you move to Russia, uh, many of those sorts of things. So there, there is a definite demand for um finding out about what Russia is really like, which is why we run our channel. Uh, what, which, which... Uh, right. Uh, you talk a lot about farming, but what people ask you about farming? Or they just ask you about Russia in general, how life in Russia is, and they ask you about bears again. So what about, about those mindsets in Australia with regard to Russia? Uh, we get a lot of, a lot of inquiries from farmers, not only from Australia, but also from Canada and America, who... Uh, who are all who are already farming in their own countries but like us i uh, was actually involved working on one of uh, australia's largest cattle farms and we the new regulations that were being brought in were constantly making it far harder to actually run a successful farming operation and that was really one of the main reasons that we as a family began to look uh, to moving to russia uh, because to run a successful farm uh, in Australia is extremely demanding, extremely expensive, and extremely regulated. Uh, so it's you know there's a far more opportunities here uh, to actually start a successful farming business. Thank you very much indeed, John. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, we've just finished our session uh, talking about uh, ways to ways to uh, and attract uh, foreigners to Russia to help them understand a little bit what Russia is really like and then to take away the confusion uh, of you know overcoming the stereotypes that Russia really has. Uh, I hope you, you should be able to have watched it online by now and uh, in a few days time there'll be a, a translated version for all those who don't speak Russian. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing a little bit what it's like here at the forum. Uh, it's been a, an eye-opening event for me. It's uh, really interesting to see all the different corporations and countries that are here to to make uh, negotiations and deals about working here in Russia. So I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share it with friends, and if you've got any more information that you want to add to it, put it in the comments below and we can have a look at them. Uh, Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll uh, see us in the next one.